Hi guys, welcome to Observa. In this one, we're going to look at how easy it is to build our own components that can be reused in our website or web app whenever it is required. In this one, I'm going to talk about buttons and how we can customize it. So let's create that, the button component. Now inside, we'll have a button which says something. Okay, or hello. Now we can import that import uh, button from dot slash button dot swell. once we have imported it we can use it right away that's it we got hello there is a button which is getting this button now what we want is we want to define hello on our own so in that case what we do is we open brackets and uh, we can change this to world or something and then we close the buttons but we see that it doesn't change there so if you want the content inside this component to be uh, here as well you have to provide a space for it uh, we call that slot and once that is there the slot is there we have world so you can uh, change it and it will reflect there so this is how easy it is now this is a simple button but let's say you want a button which is like something like you know danger button or something so when you pass something like danger it should change the color to background color to red right? so we can do that pretty easy uh, we will have a script tag here so export let danger so it gets danger uh, if you want to see what is that you can console log danger it's it's true because we passed danger as an attribute so the way we should be doing is you know danger equals true or something i mean this is how you pass it but not required i mean you can just pass danger and it will get it here now if if danger is true we have to do something here right uh, now the way we can do it is you know we add classes based on these uh, variables that is these attributes that's been passed the way we do is class uh, danger equals danger depends on sorry danger now since we are using the same class as the variable name we can just remove this and becomes it becomes shorter as this now we can style that so uh, what we are doing here is we are adding us you know we are adding a class called danger if danger is true that's all now we can style that dot danger background red and then maybe color white so we have a danger button now uh, this can be like you know success we can pass info or any other attribute that you want to define uh, you can get that now let's uh, define that here class success class it's fine you know you can use multiple of these it should be okay info now i'll style them as well dot success as a uh, kind of background as green uh, I think you got the idea color white dot info and do background blue color white again now in uh, in the button instead of danger let's say we pass success we get a green button instead of success if we pass info we get the blue button there now your button could be a link right so when you click on it it could be uh, going to some other page now we will you will have to pass a link here right let's see how we can handle that so let's imagine this is the button and you have a href now you can have href as usual let me try something like www.google.com or something 
Now once that is done, I go here, I can also get that href, I can also console log what is href and that shows me google.com. Now button is inherently no doesn't do that, we will have, we should have an a tag. So that is also easy, you can do it in multiple ways. So I'll do it with a simple if condition if href dot length, I mean if href is there um so sometimes it can be a you know hash also then also it will have a length that should be okay now i'll copy the entire button thing here also but instead of button i'll change it to a and then i'll have else here and i'll end that if okay now a can have href equals or just href is fine i think because that should get it uh, but the classes is you know it is not looking like a button so we can make it look like a button i think uh, by using something like uh, a or maybe we'll pass the same class to both and then uh, do it class equals button here also we'll do it So both of them will have dot button. Just have a padding of uh, I don't know, uh, ten fix, twenty fix maybe. It's too much, but we we'll have five. Yeah, so eight is fine. I think. I'll have a border radius of uh, 3 picks or 4, it should be okay. And you can have other classes as well like here, uh, if you want. Uh, but for now, you know, this is fine, uh, should should not do that on hover, but in hover, text decoration none yep it's not doing that so on hover you can have shadows and other things but right now i'm not concerned about all those things all right now what happens is if it's uh, if it has href you get that if it doesn't have href uh, you should get a normal button so it says length of undefined well, let's see uh, if href dot length, okay, so we define that href dot length, and it's not there. That's why it's throwing an error. In that case, we can do um, if href. That should be fine because um, href will be true even if you know, now it is false. I think undefined. Href would be too true even if you pass something like just href, and that should be okay if you want a link. You can just pass href and it's a, it becomes a it becomes a link, but it doesn't go anywhere. This is okay. All right. Now what we have? Um, imagine we pass something else. Like here, we pass a class. Okay, an extra class, something like I want uh, some kind of padding, um, something like p5 or something p4. Okay, so that p4 is having a some kind of style or it, it could be a global style so I'll, I'll just do that global p4 and it's uh, having a ridiculous padding of uh, 20 pixels all around so we're passing this padding we want a big button so with the you know huge padding and we have passed it but we are not getting this in the button right so in order to do that if you want all the other things to be you know applied to this you can just have something called uh, rest props so this is you will spread that here rest props so we do the same thing on here as well and that should get it Rest props is not defined. Okay, so let me. Oh, yeah, you need uh, two dollar signs here. Sorry about that. All right. Now what happened? Uh, did we get 
okay it's dot p4 yeah we got it so if you pass a class of p4 it gets it the button gets it now you might ask what is this rest prop so you you, you can see it whatever the you know rest of the properties that's passed to a component is a rest you know is a rest props so we can look at it i think rest props yeah it's a yeah, it's an object you can spread that here so it will add another class p4 to the button so if you inspect you you will see it uh, so this is it guys i mean this is how you design or you know create components that can be reused and also you can easily change things by passing whatever attribute you want and handling it in the in the button component so this might get bigger and bigger but it's fine because in the code you'll be using just a line and maybe passing some attributes so this way your code becomes easily readable and also easily maintainable all right thanks guys bye bye